Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. So we have the um, Minal. I don't know how you pronounce it. Anyways, it's a kick pedal for Cajon, and it has a bracket that goes underneath your Cajon, locks in place, and then you lock the kick pedal onto the front of that bracket, and now you can play drums and play guitar at the same time kind of deal. So uh, anyways, uh, you guys are going to want a demo, so we're going to give you one. So I got to thinking, you know, I'm not really much of a drum player myself, but you know, doing something that's going to give me some kick to it, you know, for a beat, that's kind of cool. So, you know, and uh, at least I don't have to worry about doing rolls and all that other fun stuff. But uh, it's got a 45 degree angle kick out for the, for the foot piece. And there's different styles of these. Um, this particular model, though, is 175 Canadian. And um, this is one that I actually rented. So... It's one that they were able to, to get me on rental because you can't rent a brand spanking new one apparently, but used, yes. Um, and if I want to buy this exact unit, it's only going to cost me 100 bucks, and I have a pretty good feeling I'm going to be buying it. Um, they have other styles, though, where it has like a, an actual foot pedal like a drum, and it's on a wire cable system and, and all that. But I thought, you know, for simplicity's sake, you know, I want this. And I thought about a regular drum kick pedal, but... They're all a little bit too violent to the front plate. And this has got kind of like a spongy kind of surface on it, uh, like a foam. So it's, it's not going to hurt your, your machine, even if you kick a little harder. Uh, so that's kind of cool. So anyways, let's uh, do this and see what we come up with. different um, and trying to figure out where my beat's going to go it's going to take a bit of practice um, but I mean a basic time of one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and four. whoops I messed up You hit a little extra hard, you can get like your snare in there, which is kind of nice. some work to do obviously and I, it's not like I was playing an actual song but let's try something that I wrote I don't have to sing it I just got to play it shabby it's gonna take a bit of work but <clears throat> it's all metal construction now they did not give me a drum key with this thing so I actually had to use a pair of players to tighten everything up but it's also adjustable for tension too just like any other kick pedal would be you've got the adjuster there to you know tighten things up a bit or whatever uh, kind of thing uh, adjustable height um, it's actually got about an extra oh I can probably grab about two extra inches of height out of this thing if I want to bring it up closer to the snare end 
So you can kind of customize how you want it to sound um, as far as your cajon goes. So I wanted a bit more bass, so it's pretty much about where it was at when I got it. Um, I did play around with it a little bit, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty close to about where it was set. So. So you can definitely give it some good thumpy power, that's for sure. And the arm is adjustable too, it can actually go out a little further, so if you want your foot more out further, you're fine. I'm actually kind of comfy with it just the way it is, because, you know, my toes just go up to here, and, you know, so I can actually just sit here and... You know, I can still kind of play the cajon uh, with one hand and not play guitar, or I can... So it's definitely a quality built product. Um, you know, as far as how many years you'll get out of the foam head, I have no clue, um, you know, how long that's going to last for. Um, I do need to find a better way to keep this a little stiffer. It does have the uh, thumb screws with these little stabber points to lock it in place wherever you're sitting. So that would definitely stop a lot of that twisting. But unfortunately, I'm sitting on a actual floor um, I don't have anything underneath to protect the floor, so I'm thinking, you know, uh, maybe a, a foam, one of those foam squares like I had in here before. Maybe I can get one, one or two kicking around this thing and just, you know, have it set up somewhere more or less permanent. And then I could dig those little feeties into the foam and that would stop my side movement but hap for happening. But otherwise, I mean, it works great. Um, I'm quite impressed with it. The sound is just being picked up from my, my sound mic, uh, room mic, uh, which is like six, seven feet away from me. And uh, so I'm not, I don't have the guitar plugged in, don't have the cajon plugged in because I do have a pickup in it now. And so you're kind of hearing what it's like just unplugged and going this way. So uh, yeah, I, I, I think it's pretty good little machine. Um, <clears throat> now, normally I'm sure this would probably come with a drum key because uh, they have to give you one, but Long and McQuack didn't give me one as far as for the rental goes, so I guess I'll have to buy one because I don't think I have a drum key around here anymore. I might. I should actually check my supply of junk because if I do, that will be bonus because um, then I wouldn't be so afraid to, to t tighten down the locker either because the, the locker goes to the plate underneath. Uh, but... Um, and it does protect your cajon too. The bracket at the back has a foam padding on, on the disc as well, so it's not going to scratch your cajon. So definitely there. Um, definitely all well protecting your, your instrument. But at the same time, giving you the ability to now have a drum in there. figure it out. Um, interesting though. It's too bad this couldn't be orientated for, or can it? Maybe I could for my left. Well, no, because I got to keep my, my left foot alone. I need my right foot. Yeah, so if the leg your guitar sits on, you've got to leave that alone. So we'll do it the old fashioned way. Here's 
my thinking. I'm I'm pretty good at a good solid four. I'll give it a four and a quarter out of five. It's not perfect. Okay. Um, it's pretty simple and easy um, to set up. It's like kind of <laughs> you'd be. Um, I don't know, but you, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to set this up. It's that straightforward, okay? Um, Feature-wise, it, it works. It, it's got, you know, the adjustable arm length, uh, which is nice. So if you need it in closer, uh, you could do that or bring it further out. You've got that option as well. So it does have some adjustability to it. Um, you can also adjust the centering, too, of, of the head. Um, that's not a, an issue at all. Um, I'm probably, I should probably bring it over about half an inch to the right. And that I need to adjust the arm down here for and slide it across the, uh, the bar. So, but, uh, and it does have the full adjustability for the, for the tension and everything. So that's kind of cool. I have no idea. Um, they've got a mounting hole in a bracket down here by my toe there. I have no idea what that's for. Um, maybe an accessory, who, who knows. Um, we'll have to uh, do a little bit more investigating because they don't show you even much in the picture on the website other than, hey, it's set up, but they don't show it to you set up on a cajon, obviously, because they want you to see all the parts. Um, but um, quality built, yes, definitely quality built. Detaches easily. You can leave the bracket on your cajon all the time if you wanted to. So then you have quick and easy, you know, clamp and go kind of thing, or take the whole unit off in just a lickety split second and pack her away in the bag and go to your gig kind of deal, right? So this would be kind of ideal too if you're doing like one man kind of show busking thing, you know, street corner thing. You've already got your seat, which is, you know, reasonably comfy. Um, and you've got your drum kit and you got you. But I am going to play around with the adjustments. I'm going to bring it uh, a little more centered. And I'm going to bring the head up a little bit more. So I can get a little bit more of that snare in there. Because it's definitely lacking on the snare. Got lots of bass. But need a bit more of the snare even with lesser pressure. Um, so yeah. Definitely some adjusting to do. You'll work it out to the way you want it to be done. I'll work it out the way I want it to be done. But I think it's definitely for considering the cost of the other units. They can be pretty pricey. Um, I mean, the bloody cajon is, is cost me less money than the pedal does, right? But at least I can get this as a used pedal for a hundred bucks, but otherwise 175 and I only paid, I think it was like 130, 140 bucks for the cajon. So it's kind of a, mm, is it worth the investment? Oh yeah. Especially if you want to be able to do two at once, right? <laughs> So that's where I'm at with it. I say a good four and a quarter out of five is very reasonable. Um, at 175 though, is it worth the money? Um, that's a good question. Um, I'm gonna have to go for it, yeah. Um, you're not gonna build anything like this cheaper that's gonna be just as well done either. Uh, so something else to keep in mind. <coughs> um, you know, so to buy it, it's already there. It looks like we could get the head replaced because there do does have some screws here. So we could actually change the head or you could put a different beater on. I actually have a felt beater um, that I could put on this too if I wanted to. Um, I'm just not sure I would want to only because it's a pretty stiff beater head. You, you'd want something a little bit more softer because you don't want to bust a hole through your plate and then have to order a new plate for your cajon. So I think going with the, the foam style like this, it's a pretty dense foam which is nice and it's not going to harm anything um, so that that's definitely there uh, so I like all that practicality now I'm just going to take a quick boo at the website here um, to see if they show anything uh, for that one piece oh okay so um, that hole is actually for the tool and they do give you the tool but they didn't give me one and it's not a normal drum key. It's got some screwdriver bits on it, which I would expect because of the the pad, you know, being removable. So it's a it looks like a three-in-one tool. 
I'm pretty sure all I got around here is just the key and that's all I need anyways. I've got screwdrivers coming out the ying, but these drum keys are special uh, wrenches. So, but um, they do actually have a picture here um, with the thing mounted on the cajon. Uh, but the main picture that you do see um, is actually just the whole unit all spread out and it's like that looks kind of weird. I don't know if we put those together. I was kind of there, but um, they show you another picture uh, on the website of it mounted to a cajon, which is fine. So anyways, um, like I said, you can buy this unit for 175 Canadian at Long and McQuaid. Uh, I think, you know, as far as the money goes, <sighs> comparing it to the prices of the other units, I'm going to have to say it's worth it. Um, only because, yeah, they, they can get a little on the costly side. Like, give me a quick second here. So if we look up just Cajon pedals, um, this unit's 175. They've got another unit that looks kind of interesting uh, called Direct Linkage uh, by Drum Workshop, and it's 429. Uh, strap drive, uh, which is going to be a little bit different. Um, that's got a separate pedal on a cable. That's going to run you 279. Uh, they have a direct drive uh, heel activated. So if you're good at pounding your foot with your heel, uh, 185. They do have one used available too. I don't know how much. Um, they got a couple others here too. So this is going to be the cheapest one um, from the looks of things. Um, oh, hey, they even got a double beater so you can do like, you know, heavy metal stuff, right? Like. <laughs> That's kind of neat. 265 for that one. Um, they call it the double bass direct drive. Uh, I got lots of different ones, but I mean, they're all pretty expensive. They got different heads too. Um, they've got a, um, they call it the Wally Mammoth uh, bass box beater. It's like $34 and it's kind of like something that's like foam covered some, somehow, like uh, material, material covered. And they have one called the Black Sheep Cajun Beater um as well that you can get so you can get different beaters to create different tones for you man i might have to try out some of that stuff um and then they got this other one here and i don't know what kind of material i think it's just more or less a foam but it's kind of like a looks almost like a hammer kind of thing on each end i don't know it's weird looking but hey whatever works right but um anyhow so oh yeah those are angled so that's, those are going to be for different um, pedals. So, oh, they even got a um, tennis ball beater. That that's cool. They call it the black ball. It's by Gibulator. So if it's a straight bar, it's for this style. If it's got the angle bar on it, um, it's going to be for one of the other style of pedals here, I guess. From what I'm seeing, anyhow, is what it's looking like. Um, but. Otherwise, I think they can all use this as a straight bar. It should work with this one, too. Um, I don't see why not. Any, anything can be done and put together. But anyway, so that's what I got as far as that goes. Um, like I said, Long McQuaid um, has these things. You can get them at, you know, if you're not in Canada, definitely you can get them at other music stores. Um, if you're in the U.S., obviously, same thing. Um, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure Cosmo Music would carry these if, if you don't deal with Long and McQuaid. Uh, Cosmo Music in Canada would, would have these. Amazon would, would more than likely have these things too. Don't know how much, but I think, you know, 175 considering the price of the other ones, I think 175 is actually a good deal for brand new. Um, used price for this one here that I have, they said I can have it for 100 bucks, and I'm like, hey, if I like it, you're not getting it back. I'll give you your 100 bucks, which... From the looks of things so far, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going to, for a hundred bucks, I can't, I can't really say no. Uh, you know, it's very simplistic design, easy to set up, easy to take apart, it's out of my way. Um, I like that, and it, and it works. I just got to get my tapping under control and figuring out my beats and stuff with my tunes. But, you know, hey, that's it's all about practice. But at least now I can have, a, you know, that bass sound, really bass with a little bit of snare, or I can adjust it for a little bit more snare and a, bit, a little bit less bass. So I am going to mess with it, see when I get a good setup. And 
I don't know, maybe in the next week or two, depending on how things go, maybe I'll shoot you guys a video uh, with a song that I've written uh, that'll work with this thing, and voila, and we'll see from there what it's like. Besides, I need some practice time anyways, guys, because right now I'm kind of, eh, not bad, but eh, not great. So, um, yeah, so stay tuned for a little bit more. But as far as the review goes, it's over. Um, four and a quarter out of five, definitely worth buying. Um, and, um, yeah, so check one out at your local Long McQuay if you're a Cajon player. Or if you're thinking about even getting into Cajon and you do play another instrument at the same time, this is a great way to play two things at once, which is kind of really awesome. So it adds more body to your song, right? But, uh, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.